So some of you have figured out that when you see the black cap, it's kind of like the reality police. And I want to chime in on this whole free will determinism thing and give a sort of definitive response, a definitive way of looking at the situation physically. Now, you can conserve the concept of cause and effect if you understand the nature of a causal chain and how it relates to the curvature of time space. The problem that we have with our common notion about cause and effect is that what is caused in the moment came from what happened in the past. And so there's, there's a, a chain of coincidence, a chain of causal relationships that, that are determined in the now from what happened in the past. Well, the issue with this is our concept of space-time. The issue with it is the notion of what is going on with our space and time. Because cause and effect requires that time component with any spatial entities or quantities that react in the moment. Now, if you look at space, you notice that space is curved. If you keep going in the same direction far enough, you come back to the same space. And that's why we see the Earth as being a sort of sphere. We just kind of take this for granted without asking, why is it a sphere? Because it curves back on itself. Because our space curves back on itself. And the only way it can do that is through time. And therefore, time is also curved. Space, time is curved. And that means all the causal chains that go forward also curve back on the past. And so whenever you change something, whenever you make a decision, in your current moment, you are making subtle changes to what is around you through its connection, through time-space forward into the past. Now, this, this is explicitly uh, determining that there are two possibilities as to the nature of our reality. Either it is morphogenic in nature, in other words, the, the past subtly changes with the present, or there are multiple worlds. You've got either a morphogenic world, or you have a world that where there is more than one version. Um, you have multiple worlds that intersect, and this is this is the quantum many worlds camp. Um, but the the other option is that it's morphogenic. In other words, that it all that it, it folds in and out or undulates on itself through time and space. But the reason we can have cause and effect and still have free will, the reason it can be completely determined, and yet we still have freedom, is because time curves back on itself, just like space does.